Cal Freezy did a video. He's gone to Tokyo, the place I wanted to go for my whole life. I finally went and now he's gone and he's done a $20, the $20,000 ho holiday. I was going to say hotel, holiday in Tokyo. $20. Yeah, the $20, I mean, I assume it doesn't include the the plane. I assume it's going to be, you know, like a hotel that will probably cost like $9 or something like that. Then his entertainment for the day or whatever he's going to do. But we'll see. I mean, we'll, we'll, we can just watch right, it and so find out. I'm here in Tokyo to do a cheap versus an expensive day. And as you can probably tell, today's the cheap day. The flight took Whoa, what do you mean by that? hours to fly from my hometown all the way across to Tokyo, Japan. Tokyo is the second wealthiest city in the entire world. In fact, it has... What was first? This is a good edit to start. New York, the Bay Area, London, Singapore, LA. This is a, this is a nice... In fact, it has the highest growing population of millionaires. So on the cheap day, I'm going to be spending just 20 pounds. But on the expensive day, I'm going to be trying to live like one of those millionaires with 20,000 pounds. Damn! So I actually came here. Yeah, I haven't looked, I promise. I'm expecting to see air up. Many moons ago, right? And they had something called the inner market, which used to exist, which is sick. And now, due to health and safety, it doesn't exist anymore. But the food does look unreal. So I think it's just going to turn into a nice food tasting session. Huh. I'm sorry. That's Aww. a new level of spoil. Okay. I spoil my dog, but that, that's levels. London Roadman, if you're out there, I'm telling you, this is the spot. Just let me know. I can broker a few deals. Carbon steel. I know you ain't got that back in hack. So. The size of that crap. Ugh. No joke. Alien. Well, maybe a little too big for that tank, I'd say. Look, ultimately, they're getting eaten, and I love soft shell crap. So, all right, look, it's important to keep a balanced diet. It's time to get some food. Oh my god. One mango here, look, is 4,000. What is that in Great British pounds? 25 quid. What? Mango. This thing better have crack in it. Look at this. That's more we than his what, budget three for the day. times five. You get like 15 18. strawberries for 3,000. That is wild. Uh, I'm you see that mass? You see that mass? That's at 18. So now, quick, quick thinking, quick maths. The price is here. But if things get any worse in the UK, fruit will be costing the same. Is that a scallop? This yeah, one. This one. Yeah, okay. Uh, All right, here we go. A thousand. Well, it's actually 500. The cameraman's budget isn't included here. So 500, that is at two and a half quid, I think. This is looking scrumdiddly umptious. <laughs> That's thank gross. you very much. Oh, thank you. That's okay. That's oh, gross. <laughs> We're in for a cheat. Well, you're not looking excited to try uh, it. Dad, would you eat that? It's all right, I think. Pretty raw. Go on, G film. It's just a scallop. Mate, it died about 30 seconds ago. <laughs> Look, the scallops were great and all, but I was still I that. starving. No so I found myself a little spot for breakfast. Well, thank God they have pictures because otherwise we'd be in a world of trouble. You know what? So in this they had the best thing ever there. They had like outside the shop, they have a wall and they have wax like figure of the food so you go up and you can just look at it and you'll see exactly what you'll get it's so it's so good it's so much better than what we have little restaurant just off of the market i ended up spending roughly five pounds my eyes are watering a little bit that's a fresh wasabi so the exact size, it shows everything the they literally Man, make mental. i'm pretty sure that's probably they like make 20 it. 30 it's grams fake. worth of tuna maybe more i'll hold it can i hold it i got it oh yeah Oh, that is lentil. Thank you. Thank you. That's disgusting. <laughs> You're all right, dude. Look. Oh, it's fishy. It's fishy. Oh, that's sick, though. Who do you reckon's got a bigger head out of that tuna and Will? That or Will and me. That's rude, you know. That's very rude. Now, I'll Just be honest with you. Question. I did go a little bit over budget. This is how much I have left to play with for the rest of the day. So. Oh. We better get going. The next destination 15. was the extremely popular Harajuku district. This place is rumored to have about 150,000 people turn up here every day. That, that's off putting. This is going to be mayhem. Look at that. Our that's where I went. That's where my video is. And the side men. But you know why? Look at that. 
It's called Take Shit. Take Shit Street. Our Santa Monica, no this place is so cool. Sasha, I'll take you for the two months. They're trying to charge a thousand big ones for that. Hold on. Yeah, I would not go here if I'm doing the cheap day. They're trying to charge you 30 quid for that? Sadly, cheapest day. We've got to be cheap with our lunch. Line of state with the 20 months. Right, let's get some noodles then. It was busted. Instant noodles. I'm going to get the Chinese spicy. One of the nights, me and Talia literally just ended up going to 7-Eleven and we got a bunch of like these basically. But we got some mad. They have such sick stuff there. It's Sesame so good. Ramen. And this is the best thing is in here. It literally comes with the water to make your noodles. Yeah. Tell me this isn't genius. That's sick. So this right here is a pound 20. Uh, I'll, I'll be honest with you. It's probably not the healthiest. This looks banging. I'm really not Doesn't matter, bro. Oh, I'd love to do that. We should try and do that. Oh my god. Stop. These are unreal, by the way. They're After so the good. The mayhem of Harajuku. We so have to get somewhere stuff. a little bit more peaceful. We gotta find it because that. <laughs> That got me a little bit irritated, if I'm honest with you. Today is all about doing things as cheap as possible. So I had a genius way to stay within my budget. All right, let's go. Right, so in the name of cost saving, we have my air... <laughs> How did I know? How did I know? Any video, yo, I need a video, like I need some money for this video. Boom. You know what? Who's who's handing out these deals? Because I'm trying to get Big Brother clubs off the ground, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, is it, is it, uh, let me see this. Um, let me see. Seeing if they will, you know, if they're up want to sponsor it, they can sponsor it. Oh, and this thing is going to save me a bunch of money as I'm trekking around today. And it'll help me keep within my budget. Look, what is also, Arab, I actually like it. better when it tastes like I was like listening on stream else. when and I found out that it was. Freddie, thank you for the prime. Of the flavors, so we're going to head on back out, continue our adventures today. We are checking out some really cool spots. Uh, and I'm going to take this bottle with me. Um, yeah, just to save me a bit of money. I've managed to come oh, wait. Here. Okay. I may have a sponsor. It's not Arab. I may. Okay, a let's bike, find out. Which is going to save costs getting around Tokyo. Absolute masterclass for me there. Fits the air up bottle in the front. Ideal. Now it was time to complete our. No, it's the original activity. one I had, but basically I took too long. Um, it it was meant to be like a few months ago, but I it was meant to be like December, but I took too long trying to get everyone together. So they were like, "Oh, you need to get it this week," and I was like, "There's there's ten other people. I can't." So we ended up just having to to sack it, but. They might still be interested. I was to visit one of Tokyo's 4,000 temples. Oh, and I completely forgot to tell you guys how this thing actually works. So what you want to do is you want to get your scent pod, attach it to the mouthpiece, and you are in for a much better experience than Whoa. just water. Of course, I had to plug you guys, and you get 10% off if you use the code CAL10. Thank me later. It feels very peaceful here. Usually, when there's loads of footfall, especially with tourists, it's really loud and obnoxious. I guess that's me actually making the YouTube video right now. This is amazing. I wish I explored more. Look at this. It actually feels like you're in the movies. I saw a group of people gathering in the distance and I had to find out what they were up to. No looking at my wishes, otherwise they won't come true, man. What did you write? My family to be healthy and this video to get one million views. <laughs> it's important to say though, charitable donations do not count towards today's budget, all right? Charity is charity. After a quick outfit change, it was now time yes. to head to one of yeah. Tokyo's weirdest restaurants. Unfortunately, because it's cheap. That was a tautology to... that was, if anyone knows what that means. Good word. I think. Here we go. You fish your own food. That's disgusting. What the hell is going on? She has just got a zebra fish. <laughs> hey, let me get my own one. He's just running into a wall. He's ready to end all. You any good at fishing? Oh, I'm good at fishing, mate. Who wants some food? Oh my this god. This is disgusting. One has just brushed itself on my shrimp. It's supposed to be a lot easier than this. Who wants it? Why is nobody biting? They're all the sitting ducks. This is cool, man. Sing to them. Well, I can't disgusting. believe it. I've put my rod in cameraman Harry's hands, and he's only gone and got one. Oh my god, nice. he wants it. He's never like, you got it, Gino. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. Oh, that was teamwork. I don't think like. Oh, oh. I don't think I can catch the fish that I'm going lie. to eat. Jesus Christ. Nah, no. no, I don't happy like it. Well, happy birthday to this fish. Like, la, 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 la. Uh, if you want to eat fish, calm. You're weird, but calm. 
I don't think I could literally go like, I've caught that fish and now I'm eating it. Like that soon as well. You ain't even like, ah. Uh. You just gone. Oh. I think this has come to roughly seven pounds for an entire fish though. But the good news is I am sat with two other fine people. So I'm only going to get a third of this. Meaning if I do the math correctly, two pounds 30. Is that right? Anyways, two pounds 30 for this. Cheap day continues to roll on. I'm praying I don't shit myself. Got another 10 Great news, guys. I did not shit myself. In fact, I decided to head out and find myself a karaoke bar. And she's taking a drag. The vibe was immaculate. We were partying with the locals all night on one pound beers. But unfortunately, that was the end of my cheap day. But so the he, beginning so of... He was at like eight pounds and now he's just spent 12 pounds on karaoke and beers. He was really rationing. My expensive day. Ah, uh, this is what I'm interested about. Or 3.4 million Japanese yen. Let's not waste any time. So here it is. The beginning of the expensive day. And what a way to start it than these jiggly old pancakes. Seriously, these fluffy pancakes are actually a specialty that they do in Japan. And more importantly, today has oh. no budget. They do be jiggling. Let's see what we can do with this unlimited budget. Unlimited budget means unlimited fun. I'm gonna get changed into something more appropriate. Syrup. Looking absolutely phenomenal, it was time for me to hit the street. Yeah! That's the same place we did it, right? That's honestly, when I was like, a lot of Japan I walked around during, during the video and stuff, I was like, ah, oh, this is like quite, this hasn't lived up to what I wanted kind of thing. You know, I, I think I've built up way too much expectations in my head that it hasn't lived up to it. But when we were doing stuff like this, I was like, bro, I'm driving a go-kart around the middle of Tokyo. Like that is so nuts that, that that was the part that switched it for me. The first day and a half was like, okay. Is it not dangerous? Not really. I mean, it's as dangerous as it looks, if you know what I mean, but it's not. I feel like a celebrity. Oh, wait, you I'm still drive cool. by like oh, road laws. We pulled up to one of Tokyo's most famous destinations, the Shibuya Crossing. This place has roughly 3,000 people cross every single green light. <laughs> we broke the carts. That was the <laughs> end of our fun Tokyo. Oh, it's fine. You have unlimited experience. budgets. But it meant it was time for a new one. And I was introduced to my best friend, Hero. Be honest. What do you think to my style? Um, I like it because the most important thing is that it's a stylist. Okay. Style. Yeah. So, so that, that's, a, that's a nice way of saying I'm not going to lie. This is the one thing I know about this video is I know he bought a very expensive jacket. Oversold David in two months. It was terrible. Hero is going to be taking me on a personal Gins shopping the bougie area. Ganza, and I didn't give him a Ganza? budget, which is probably a mistake. Here we go. What about this? Oh, this is sick. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, I'll try it. Oh, yeah, try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it is. What do we oh, think about this one? I don't know about that one. Oh, I like it. Wow. And the what are we saying? What are we saying? What are we saying? What are we saying? Chat, what are we saying about this shirt? I'm saying cool if it's open. I think I think Cal could pull this off when it's open, but closed, I don't know. Doesn't suit his head shape. Never thought about that. I like it. Wow. And the Nice. Outfits just kept on coming. Okay. Jeez. That's the jacket. That's the jacket. He told me that he bought that jacket. Nuts. What are we saying about it? Yeah, I know. Mad. I'm not asking, do you think it's worth the money? Because realistically, no piece of clothing is worth the money. If it's like that much. And I know I have shoes that are worth a stupid amount. Of the dark. They're not worth it. But I love them. Need to see it more. Peace. Wow. Well, that was it. <laughs> I wish I'd I wish I'd had more days just for shopping in Tokyo because we went one day. So we went one day, Talia was ill. The next day we went and it was raining. So we kind of like we were like, oh, we want to, you know, not be walking around the streets too much. But I end up buying loads. Like I bought pretty much everything. If you see me in anything different, it was from Japan. All the stuff that people are hating. I see so many TikToks like, why is Simon wearing those trousers? They're so ugly, blah, blah, blah. Favorite thing you got from Tokyo? Probably my two pairs of trousers that are, um, I got two pairs of Supreme trousers. I love. That jumper in more sidemen? Yeah. 
The black and yellow were sick. The black and yellow, uh, those those were the supreme uh, North Face ones, which they were the ones a lot of people were like, no, I'd never wear them again. True. Good. Yeah. Okay. Talk your style. Yeah, it's lovely. Mm -hmm. Hero had some absolute fire. There you go. There you go. What are you saying about that? What are you saying? Fire. I like it a lot. I wouldn't wear it, but I love it for other people. It's dreadful. It's love it. It suits him. Needs to be open. Yeah. I mean, when you put a jacket on, you always do it up in it just to see what it's looked fire. like. Fire. But there was some serious misses. Jeez. Like, yeah. Wow, very cool. These are uh, very interesting. I mean, when I'm walking around London, what are people saying about this one? I've not seen them before. You're not, you're not sure about that one. Don't know about them. <laughs> nah, that's yeah. The problem of a long, lanky man. You ready? Yeah, I'm there mm. with you, brother. I'm not sure. I can be cutting around with something that says... Says that, you know what I mean? Weren't allowed to film in the last one, but I got Chip a little present. It's a Star Wars themed t-shirt. I can't go wrong. I simply can't. Look, I, there was no way in a, any world that I was ever gonna wear a Star Wars t-shirt, but Chip will warship it, so. I'm a little bit worried because we're definitely coming up to my max budget. Well, my Mad. jacket feels a I mean, lot the, lighter. The jacket but was there. I have to admit, I'm absolutely buzzing. In total, I think I probably spent close to 10 grand. So, air up, I love you, and please go buy an air up bottle. The link's in the description, please. At this point, I maxed out my card. And so I borrowed my friends and headed to the most expensive restaurant I could find. Oh, uh, I want to so, see something here. This, this is pretty sick. It's the Gucci Who's the best drip in the side, Ben, Toby? Pause for it. Pause for the munch. All well, this line doesn't do me any favors. This is all very fancy, very fancy. Look at that, far too fancy for my liking. What is that? What is that? And a bit of bread. I what is that? You, I won't like this. Your guess is as good as mine. I ain't got a clue what's on my plate. Oh, I ain't made for that kind of food life, you know. Eel on ice cream. The shiny bits, eel. I am so stuffed. Absolutely stuffed. Look at that. Jeez! Dinner was interesting, and now we are heading out. Wearing my brand new outfit that my best friend Hiro helped me pick out, it was time to end my day in Tokyo's best rooftop bar. So there it is, the end of my time in Tokyo. Unbelievable experience, cheapest versus most expensive. Let me know which did you think was better. And uh, yeah, not a bad place what, to What were you guys saying? Take a look at this view. This whole experience. What was better? Cheap day or blood. expensive and I day? I think it just shows that no matter the budget, you can have an incredible time here in Tokyo. And I would absolutely recommend anybody to come here and experience this culture. Cheap day was good. I feel like with every video ever, like whenever people do, like Cyben videos, Cal's videos, whoever's videos, when you do cheap, the expensive, the cheap team or the cheap side is always way more entertaining. Like, no one wants to see, well, you still want to see it, but it's always like you want to see someone do something. Not, I don't want to say a challenge because, you know, he went and ate some food and walked around and blah, blah, blah. But it's, yeah, it's more creative. When it's expensive, it's shopping, expensive food, the same expensive like transport. Yeah. That was a good video though. I enjoyed the, uh, the cheap team more as well. I'll agree with you guys.